What's up guys, today's video is gonna be about ChatGPT. You've probably already heard of it. If you haven't, it's an AI tool that has gone viral since its release just two months ago. You can talk to it like a person and it can do things for you. It can write text for you, it can summarize, it can expand, it can blog for you, it can write product descriptions, it can do SEO, it can do automations, and it can even write code. And as an e-commerce store owner, you have a lot to gain from using AI tools like this. So let's just jump straight into it. The first thing that you wanna to do to access ChatGPT is go to chat.openai.com. That's if you haven't already created an account and you know just sign up for an account and it's free. And then you'll be able to access the actual ChatGPT interface. So let's start with something that's quite trivial, but also quite powerful. Um, the ability to write short social media posts. I think that ChatGPT really excels at this particular task. It might be something you find easy. I find it actually very difficult to write you know, Instagram captions and things like that to find something to say. But you often have to do this in e-commerce if, for example, you have a Christmas sale happening. So let's try that out, write an Instagram caption for a Christmas sale, okay? It's a very basic prompt and we're gonna get some kind of random generic text, um, but it's pretty good, right? It gives you some ideas but you're probably gonna want to improve this a little bit. It's not gonna be applicable to your store. So let's say that you own a fitness brand, right? Let's improve this prompt a little bit. Write a festive Instagram caption for a Christmas sale at a fitness clothing brand. Add some humor and use an informal tone that would appeal to millennials or Gen Z. All right, so already that's a lot better. It injects some humor. It appeals to a younger audience. It appeals to a fitness audience, you know, things like Christmas gains. When I did this before, it was using hashtags like new year, new you. And you can try this again. You can get many different variations of this using the same prompt. But as you might notice in this prompt, we used several things. We, we gave some context that we're a fitness clothing brand. We also uh, set the tone, so humor and informal tone. And we also set a target audience and all of these bits of information help it make uh, a much better piece of text. All right, so let's jump into something a little bit more impressive. So what I'm looking at is a kind of semi-completed product import template for Shopify. If you've ever imported products with the CSV, uh, then this is the structure that Shopify wants you to use. And as you can see here, I have my product titles and here I would like to have the handles of the products. Basically it's the title, but turned into a URL. So we want it all to be lowercase. Um, and instead of spaces, we want it to be dashes. And we also want to get rid of any special characters. So in some of these names, there are like apostrophes. And you know, we want to do this for 300 products. So doing it manually isn't an option. And so we can use Excel or like Google Sheets formulas, right? here and I know that you know we can do something like for example equals sign lower and then we put the cell like this cell for example b2 and then it's going to take that and it's going to lowercase it right so there we have a lowercase of that but my knowledge of Google Sheets formulas is not that good that I can actually create this whole thing you know so normally I would google this and I would probably spend an hour Googling and, and figuring out how to structure the exact formula that I need to convert all of these into handles. As I was doing this, as I started doing this, I had the idea, can ChatGPT do this for me? And it did. So check this out. First, I asked, can you write a Google Sheets formula that takes data from a column, lowercases it and replaces spaces with dashes? And it showed me exactly how I can chain uh, that substitute and lower that I was wondering how I could do. So this is perfect. I can simply copy this and it also gives me a little explanation. This explanation is great. This formula would take the data in cell A1, convert it to lowercase, blah, blah, blah. And I don't want to take the data in cell A1, right? I want to take the data in cell B2, for example. So I know that I should change this A1 to B2, like so, and that should work. That is perfect. And that was so easy and fast, way easier than if I had Googled it. All right, but if you remember, we're not quite finished because I wanted to also remove special characters. So the amazing thing about ChatGPT is that unlike Google, where you have to constantly rephrase your search if you wanna find, you know, if you wanna refine your search, 
um, ChatGPT remembers the conversation, right? It remembers what you wrote last time and you simply reply to it. Can it also remove any special characters like apostrophes? And here it gives me a regex replace, which replaces characters. And the bit that I was really impressed with was that it realized that I wanna keep dashes because I said that I wanted to replace spaces with dashes here. And then here it goes that, note that this formula here is removing all special characters, including dash. And if you want to keep the dash and remove only special characters other than the dash, which is what I want, then you can use this formula. So I found this really impressive that it understood the context, it understood my actual uh, requirement, and it added this note. So this is the formula that I ended up using, and it worked perfectly. Paste that in here, don't forget the equals sign, don't forget to change it to B2. And now I can simply drag this out across all of my products, and that's perfect. Extremely easy and saved me a lot of time compared to Google Inc. Later on, I'll be showing you how ChatGPT can write code, but I'm actually much more impressed with its ability to explain or read code for you and explain it in natural human language. And why is this important for you as a store owner? Well, mostly because you're probably following some kind of coding tutorials sometimes when you want to make modifications to your store. I mean, the fact that you're watching my channel probably means that you followed maybe one of my tutorials, like this one, the display variant inventory count. And I'm gonna use this as an example because I actually made a mistake in this one and we're gonna use ChatGPT to fix that mistake. So what this code does is it shows this little notice, right? Only six items left, only, you know, whatever amount you have in stock left. And the mistake that I made when I published this video is I didn't consider what happens when there are zero items left because currently it's just showing only zero items left, which is dumb. We want it to disappear completely, right? I've had comments on this video saying that. This is what I've done. I've simply written explain what this code does and copied and pasted this code in. I could have given it context. I could have said that this is Shopify code, but I wanted to see how good it was at actually understanding the code context and how it's used within the bigger picture. And it's very good at this. So this code is written in Shopify's liquid templating language. It generates an HTML code for displaying the inventory count of a product on a Shopify store. And then it kind of walks you through that code line by line. Now, this might be hard for you to understand if you're just watching this video, but anyone that actually followed that tutorial, um, I'm sure that this uh, line by line explanation would make sense and would be helpful to them. And I didn't show it in this chat, but what you can also do is ask ChatGPT to explain it in simpler language. You just, just reply, can you explain that in simpler language? And it will actually use shorter sentences and really break it down a lot more to make it more understandable. So now this next part is actually how to fix that code where it's showing only zero left in stock. Um, I could have asked this question a little bit better. I could have said, how can I hide the div when product inventory is zero? But I was testing, so I used very casual language and it still understood me. And so you can hide the entire div by adding a condition, an if statement that is, to check if the product inventory is zero, and if so, not rendering the div. Here's an example. And we have almost the same code, but it's added one line, and this line says, if product, inventory is larger than zero, then output the old code. If not, then nothing gets output, which is exactly what we want. And this would have been perfect, except for one thing. And that's this end when. You notice in my code, there's only a when. And actually in Shopify Liquid, and I think almost in all programming languages, there is no such thing as end when. That's what's crazy about these AI tools. And you have to be really cautious because they will just make stuff up. There is literally no such thing as end when you would never use it. This is the, uh, this is a case statement, right? So you have case and then when, when, you sometimes have an else and you have an end case, but there is no such thing as end when. And you still have to have kind of a basic understanding of code. You have to know what a div is. You have to kind of understand HTML at least to be able to ask the right questions. So as you can see, there are some issues with writing code. It can be helpful, but it's far from perfect. Let's get back into something that ChatGPT is much better at, and that is gonna be writing product descriptions. We're gonna be writing a description based on a certain set of specs or bullet points, right? And this is very important, very useful for e-commerce stores because when doing SEO for an e-commerce store, one of the biggest problems is that your product pages are empty, like you got no text, no description, or 
a very minimal description of like one or two sentences. And I understand why that is, because it's difficult to write a product description, especially if you have hundreds of products. So let me show you how I would use ChatGPT to fix this problem and to help me write a product description very quickly. What we're aiming for is around 300 words to describe this product. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find this product somewhere else like on Amazon, or maybe you just have like a spec sheet from manufacturers, right? Um, like the compatible phones, mounting type, whatever, the color, the brand, and then we have just some quick features like this. So this is what I'm gonna use as the input, as the information to ChatGPT. And you'll find that this works a lot better than when you're relying on ChatGPT to provide information because it's gonna lie, okay? I'll also add the title. I'll just use that because it's just got some keywords in it, right? So I'll put that as the title. And then we need to write quite a good, quite a descriptive prompt, okay? Because if we just write, write a product description about this, uh, it'll be okay, but we wanna make it SEO friendly. Here's a general guide. The first thing that you wanna do is add a target audience, add a tone of voice, right? And then you want some SEO best practices for it to use, uh, especially product descriptions. So focus on benefits rather than features. Otherwise it's gonna list off like, you know, the fact that it's got this type of mount and you know, it's gonna be very like specs. We want it to be much more conversational and kind of persuasive. We want it to write approximately 300 words, avoid long sentences because short sentences are better for SEO, um, avoid using a passive voice and then include a call to action at the end, get people to actually buy it if they've read the whole product description. So here's the entire prompt, write an SEO friendly 300 word product description based on the product details below. This is important and then you're gonna write product details semicolon and then it's gonna understand that from this point on these are the product details that we're writing about okay the text should use informal language and appeal to young creative people also follow these seo guidelines so these are the same product details that i was just showing you so i'm just gonna like paste all of that in there's our prompt there's our product details Introducing the Joby Grip Tight 1GP, the ultimate universal phone holder for young creatives on the go. Which smartphones it uses. I really like this uh, ending in a call to action, which was one of our guidelines. So if you're looking for a high quality and versatile phone holder, that's perfect. It, this is the one for you. Don't wait. Order your Joby Grip Tight 1GP today and start capturing your memories in style. That's awesome. I'm really quite happy with that. Um, I don't think that this is quite 300 words. It can sometimes mess up with like the word length. I can tell you how many words that actually is. That's 265 words, that's good enough. I would do some minimal editing to this, quite honestly. I wouldn't just paste that in immediately, but you can see how you can generate pretty good content very quickly. Spend five, 10 minutes editing this and you have a great product description. Okay guys, I think that I'm actually gonna cut there and make a part two of this video because it's just getting too long. I'm really getting into the details of how I do each task of my workflow. I could not do that. I could have sped through those things and just quickly demonstrated, but I'm hoping that this is actually valuable to you. So yeah, I think that's it for today. Check the comments for part two, I'll pin the link and leave a comment if you have any questions or if you're already using ChatGPT for something related to e-commerce, I would be really interested to hear about that. That's all, see you in the next video, bye.